fortress and see what I got. Hey farm hands, farm here. how's everybody doing? So today we're gonna do a little unboxing uh, video and demonstration on a product that I got sent over. So what I got today guys is uh, it's easy clean from D&D. &D. Um, I'm gonna show you how to use this. It's a powder application. It cleans all your protein skimmers, power heads, anything that has a really hard residue on there for like coralline algae, um, you know, salt creep, anything you really wanna clean up those products like they're brand new again, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use uh, easy clean from D&D. What I have right now, right here, this uh, see this power head? It was one from one of my uh, one of my tanks, one of the lab tanks that I do not have anymore. It's got a lot of uh, different things growing on it right now. Um, we got some coralline algae, all kinds of different algaes and stuff on there, and it's on there pretty good. This is the the, the was it, Nano Stream uh, 6055 from Tunzi. It's a great pump, and I want to reuse it in my Superman build. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up this solution, and we're gonna let it soak, and hopefully this pump is gonna come out brand new, hopefully and be really clean so we can end up putting it in the Superman tank. So let's go ahead, let's read the instructions from uh, the Easy Clean. I got the bucket of water ready, we're gonna mix it all up, and then we're gonna let this uh, soak, and hopefully when it comes out, it's gonna look brand new. So like anything, we gotta read the instructions. So let's check this out. So application, uh, so the Easy Clean is best dissolved in clean, fresh water. Take six spoons of the Easy Clean powder and dissolve it in half a liter of water. So I got the half liter of water in there, Stir the Easy Clean formula into the container with the water until the powder has dissolved. After a few minutes, the solution is ready for use. So immerse the equipment to be cleaned in the solution approximately two hours. And after two hours, take the equipment out in the solution. Rinse it off thoroughly with clean water. So we gotta let it soak about two hours. Important, it says uh, this media must not be directly added to aquarium. So remember, do not put that in your aquarium. So we're gonna let this pump sit for two hours and hopefully when it comes out, it's gonna be really, really clean, guys. So we need uh, uh, six spoonfuls of this into the water. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna bring you guys in close. We're gonna do that part together, then we're gonna let it soak, and uh, with the magic of editing, it's not gonna take long, it's not gonna take two hours, and boom, we're gonna be there. All right, guys? So we got the, the powder. So this is it, get the easy clean from D&D. So when you open it up, it's gonna do this with one hand. This is a spoon, we're gonna end up using six of these into the fresh water. So it's sealed pretty good. We're just gonna open that right up. So yeah, so this is the, the box, if you guys are seeing. That's the, the NanoStream 655 awesome pump. If you guys are looking for a good pump to use. Let's put this up here. So we're gonna mix in six of these. So one. Two. Three. Four, five, six. All right, so let's just close that back up so we do not make a mess. So here we go, here's the nasty pump. See all the stuff growing on that thing? It's crazy. I probably should do a little bit more maintenance on it, but this is great for uh, this application to show you guys how clean, hopefully, this is gonna come out. So this is your before, and then we'll do after. So let's get that in here. Well, first, before we do that, let's mix that up. If you're like me and in the hobby, you're always boring your wife's spoons and stuff, so don't get in trouble. So let's mix that up until it's completely dissolved. We'll let it set for a few minutes, and then, uh, We'll get that pump right in there. So that looks pretty good, pretty dissolved. So let's go ahead and let's put that pump in that solution. There we go. So now we're gonna let that go for two hours. And then with uh, the magic of editing, boom. I'm so at hand, so it's been two hours. See all the junk in there? So let's pull it out, see what we're, what we're doing with here. So, it's a lot cleaner. A lot of this right here you guys are seeing, it's just the stuff that's coming off it. So, let me just shut the pump off. Uh, so let's just pull this off here. Rinse it off a bit. See? That looks a lot better, guys. It's pretty good. Rinse it off a little more. So I can, right now, I'll just take that off. So if there's a few other little spots there, like in the inside, it's still dirty a little bit. I can get in there with a toothbrush and just clean that out. And where's the other half? So this one here, there's a little bit left on the corner on the side, so it's must have been near the bottom, but I can just uh, let that soak, oops, let that soak a little longer. And same thing, just brush it off and hopefully it'll clean right up. So I'm gonna go ahead, just finish this right up 
and uh, we'll check it out. Front hand. So we end up got the pump in there. It's all cleaned up. So you guys can check it out. We just cleaned it. Look at the difference in that. Like that solution worked really good. And there's a little bit of coralline algae left around the bottom here where it goes in the tank. But I, d I d have to get like a knife out and try to scrape in there. But it's just a little bit there and it's not going to harm any of the functions on here. See, all nice and clean. The before and after pictures. So it looks awesome. And uh, end up, remember that moves along the ring here. This this piece just comes off and I ended up just rubbing it. So it came right off perfectly. So guys, that's the, the unboxing and testing out the Easy Clean from D&D Aquarium Solutions. This product rocks. I definitely give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to check it out, just hit uh, AquariumSolutions.com if you ever want to pick some up, guys. So thanks for tuning in this week. A little unboxing. So please subscribe and hit that like button.